back, I'm down. Assault rifle marked! He's on the other side of the map. <laughs> Moving! Your squad mate has entered the gulag. Money, guys. Surviving earns them redeployment. I've got 4,500. Yeah, boy. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> What's up, guys? And welcome back to Soft and Other Solutions. And today we're talking about Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you enjoyed that little intro of the game being completely fucked. And that's pretty much what we are dealing with right now at this very moment. Not just that, not just gameplay in general. People are experiencing FPS loss, game stuttering when they jump out the plane or when they're parachuting. There's a lot of fucking shit happening in this game that's completely fucking broken. Now, today I'm going to show you what you can do to get the best performance out of your game, get more FPS, and a smooth gameplay experience. Now, all you need to do is follow my guidelines and you should be good to go. All right, let's jump straight into that. So the first thing you're going to need to do is just go to the file explorer over here, go to your documents, go to Call of Duty, go to players, and you're going to go to this file over here that says options 3.cod22.cst. Double click on this and just open this up with a notepad or anything that you can edit with and scroll all the way down and go to this where it says render worker count. Now, you are going to apply the amount of total cores of your machine that you have. I have a 9700K. It is an 8-core, 8 8-thread 8 CPU. Now, yes, you need to apply your cores, not your threads. Your cores, your physical cores that you have, your maximum total cores. Go ahead and type it in here. Yours might be defaulted to something completely weird, and when you change it, you will see an overall FPS boost inside your game. This is to increase FPS in your game. Trust me, this does work 100%. Once you have changed this, all you're going to need to do is go to the file over here and then click save and then you're going to close out of this. Next thing you're going to do is go to the search button over here and type in settings just like this and press enter and you're going to go to gaming over here and then go to game mode. Now I highly recommend you go ahead and turn this on. It doesn't matter if you're an NVIDIA user or an AMD user. Go ahead and turn this on. It actually does increase FPS and make your game run a little bit better by having this option on right now for Warzone 2.0 or Warzone 2 in general. In the first Call of Duty Warzone, when I turned this on or off, it did nothing. Now, in Call of Duty Warzone 2 or 2.0, it physically does increase FPS. Go ahead and turn this on and leave it on. Once you're done with that, you're going to go to graphic settings over here. And if you have a lot of games inside here that was added, go ahead and remove every single one of them. You do not need this anymore because Call of Duty is getting micro stutters, stutters in game, and overall losing performance inside the game by having this on. So you're going to switch this off. Now, if you switch this off, it's going to ask you to restart your PC. Just switch it off watch my video finish because you're going to have to restart your computer once you change all of these settings that I'm going to show you in anyways. So just turn it off and then all you're going to need to do is just close out of this. All right, the next step you're going to need to do is go to your NVIDIA control panel. So you're just going to right click, go to NVIDIA control panel and open up an NVIDIA control panel. All right, once this is open, you are going to go over here where it says adjust image settings with preview and then go to use the advanced 3D image settings and click on take me there. If you click on take me there, it's basically it's just going to take you to manage 3D settings so I'm just going to do that and it's going to take you to your global settings now you can go ahead and go to program settings and add Call of Duty inside here and change the physical things in here but I highly recommend you go ahead and change it to its global settings now a lot of things inside my NVIDIA control panel has changed so please go ahead and copy these over here please go ahead and copy these settings over here you can just pause the video and change it to every single thing I have over here. Make sure that you have mine exactly the same and you should be good to go. Now this plays a very big role on micro stutters. Please go ahead and change this to 100 gigabytes. Now it will be on default driver. You're going to change it to 100 gigabytes. This is 
for the micro stutter inside the game. Once you're done with these settings, you're just going to apply them here at the bottom, and then I'm going to show you something very, very important. Config surround and physics, I highly recommend you go ahead and change this from auto select or CPU to your NVIDIA graphics card, your dedicated GPU. A lot of people are saying that you should use your CPU. That is incorrect. The only reason why this would be correct and you change it to CPU is if you have a APU, meaning you have a CPU with a GPU built into it. That is an APU. Then I would understand if you click on CPU. But 90% of the community of gamers out there run dedicated graphics cards or basically like 95% go ahead and change it to your dedicated graphics card and apply the settings if you haven't done that already. Once you're done with that you're going to go to change resolution scroll down and then you're going to go to this over here. Now this will make your game pop in color and just in general your game will look much much better. Trust me your game will look really good by changing these settings. You're going to put this on highest you're going to put this on 8B PC full and then RGB. Go ahead and change this. Please go ahead and change this. It will make your game look really, really good. Now we're going to change settings inside the game as well to make the color pop even more. So you can have more like just in general your game feels good looks good the experience of having to play call of duty warzone 2.0 with these settings that i'm going to show you today you are going to have a smooth gameplay experience and your game's going to look really really good all right once you're done with this you're going to apply these settings and then you're going to go to adjust desktop color settings now what i just showed you now plays a very big role in this over here where it says adjust desktop color settings now because we changed all of those settings to use your nvidia graphics card for color contrast digital vibrance all those things that make your game look good go ahead and copy these settings as is exactly as is and I'll go ahead and apply these settings all right ladies and gentlemen once you are done with that you're going to close out of this this is my previous video that i uploaded now i showed you what is the best settings you can be using inside an nvidia control panel and then also inside your game by tweaking everything to low and some settings you tweak to about normal or high now with that settings that i showed you you would do about with my current machine basically similar specs than mine you would do about 100 fps for those settings and i just want to show you something okay now look at these trees they aren't rendered incorrectly okay they aren't rendered in so this is for people out there that wants fps they want more frames they don't care about this blob trees and shit they care about the fps okay so i'm just going to close out of this and show you a comparison and this is the comparison over here now I'm doing about, as you can see, 20 FPS less in my game. Just 20 FPS less. But as you can see, the trees from far away are rendered in with these settings. Now I'm going to show you these settings. I'm going to show you what you're going to change inside the video control panel and inside your game to have really a good looking game. Plus you won't have stutter because there's a lot of things that you need to change inside in video control panel to get this working perfectly fine where you're not doing the best of fps but you still won't get stutters and input latency and all those beautiful things all right let's jump straight into that all right ladies and gentlemen something i want to put out there is i'm going to start making very in-depth videos like overclocking your gpu how to cool down your cpu much better how to do ram timings and how to make your machine look better feel better run smoother and every single game that you are playing at the very moment to make those games run much better become a member on my youtube channel i'm going to upload exclusive videos for my members only they are going to be very more in detailed videos than what i'm about to show you right now because i take time and effort to help the call of duty community and whatever game if you are a member on my channel whatever game you want me to optimize for you you can pop me a message i can go ahead and help you out with that ladies and gentlemen i'm going to jump straight into the game and show you the settings that i'm using right now at this very moment so for people out there that don't care about FPS, they care about how their game looks and they're still doing good FPS, like 100 FPS and upwards, like 110, 120, they around. That's still playable FPS because you're doing twice the amount of 60 FPS. 120 is twice the amount of 60 FPS. Now, for people out there that want the game to look good, really good, I'm talking the trees look well, everything looks good in the game and you won't have input latency and game freezing now if you do not care about fps 
go to graphics over here custom 100 percent if you're playing a 1080p 1440p 4k whatever the fuck you're playing your game at leave it at 100 percent never turn it down you do not want your game to look like this you want it to look like that every single person at this very moment at this very moment is using fidelity fx cache and they can change it to their own sharpen now i had this on 75 before i changed it all down to 60 literally all the way down to 60 because my game looks a little bit better at being on 60 every single person that's watching this video right now has a different type of monitor you might even have a display you might be playing this on a laptop so then you have a display you don't have a monitor or a gaming monitor you have a display right so this is going to be your own personal preference what you put this on go ahead and play around with this one over here okay this i highly recommend you keep it at filmic smaa t2 times if you put this on this your game's going to start looking like that and you're going to want to tear your eyes out of how bad the quality looks do not put it on this the only reason why you would put it on smaa t2 times is if you have a really low-end gpu go ahead and put this on full mic smaa t2 times so your game doesn't look all fucked up weird while you're playing the game and you run to a wall and it looks like there's a bunch of ants on your wall or it looks like an olden day tv that you have to move around with an aerial to get better quality because that's what it's going to look like if you put it on this with a really good gpu don't do that okay put it on this Anti-analyzing on high at this very moment. Do not need this at ultra quality. I mean, there isn't ants running on the tree leaves that you need to see. Leave this at high. Just leave it there. Don't put it lower. Leave it at high. Okay? This you're obviously going to keep at 80%. So now you're going to put texture resolution at high. Texture filter anastropic at normal. You're going to change these settings to all of these settings over here. You can just copy my settings over here. If you do not care about FPS, you care about how your game looks. All right? copy all of these settings inside my Call of Duty. Now, the reason why these settings play a very big role that I'm showing you right now, all of them, you're going to change them to exactly how they are right now at this very moment, is how I changed it to NVIDIA control panel. So all of these settings play a very big role with NVIDIA control panel that I just showed you now. So if you do not care about FPS inside your game, go ahead and change it to this now this is your own personal preference what you're going to do you can also put this on fidelity fx cache and then put this on your own sharpen it's your own personal preference put this on filmic smaa like i said before do not put this down because yeah you're going to tear out your eyes don't do that put this at normal put this at 80 percent if you can't put it at 85 you should be good to go you're going to put this at a low if you want a little bit more texture resolution out of the game just a little bit more and still do really good fps put this at normal do not put it at high okay low 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 short low very low on because it doesn't impact fps gpu cpu ram nothing put it on low off min so minimal off low low off off all right, you don't need that if you want FPS. Very low, off, low, spot cache always on high to not get stutter in your game while jumping out the plane, while being in the plane, and all that bullshit that this game is giving us, right? Low, off, off, low, off, on plus boost is highly recommended. Off, 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 it's a multiplayer game. Why the fuck would you put these on? I honestly don't get it when people put this shit on this over here form grain all the way to 0, 0.00 this will be the best settings you can use ladies and gentlemen if this worked for you leave a like leave a comment subscribe to me to channel for your new year and yes it takes a lot of fucking dedication recording a video every fucking 24 hours or every couple of new days i have to record a new video because call of duty brings out a new update then they fuck up their settings because i tell you to do this right now and then in a month from now or two weeks or three weeks then they change their updates and then these settings are completely fucked ladies and gentlemen if you want to see way more in-depth videos like overclocking your gpu overclocking your cpu how to make your machine run even better than what it's running right now Become a YouTube member on my YouTube channel because I'm going to upload exclusive content for my members only. So if you're supporting me by becoming a member, I'm going to support you by uploading videos for my members. And I'm going to show you stuff that I didn't show in this video today. Lots of things like overclocking your GPU, how to keep it cool, overclocking your CPU, overclocking your RAM timings, your machine, your window settings, and lots of things. Because a lot of people don't know these settings and I'm only going to do it for my members only. So make sure to become a member on 
my YouTube channel. A lot of people are running 30, 60s, 30 series graphics cards, 40 series graphics cards, and they're doing worse FPS than what I do with a 2060. So yeah, that's pretty much um, <laughs> just uh, just a thing for Call of Duty right now. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new year. And as always, I hope this helped you, and peace on.